Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to create a database. So this is my worksheet where I'm going to write all my SQL queries. So to create a database, first of all, I'm going to go here in the databases section. These are the databases that have already created. So in order to create a new database, I will click create a new database, specify the name of database. Let's say database name is dice. So if you want to provide any comment here, you can give it. So I'm not giving any comment. Click finish. A new database has been created. Next, I'm going to go in my worksheet, refresh this. So this is my new database. So next I'm going to create a table in my new database. So in order to create a table, I will write create table employee. So I'm going to create the employee table in my dice database. So first of all, I'm going to use the keyword use dice. So dice is the database name where I'm going to uh, create a table. So create table employee. So specify the column name. So the first column is employee ID. Int. Int is the data type. Second column is first underscore name. Varchar. Last underscore name. Varchar salary int is the data type designation varchar in the department id int semicolon at the end so let me just execute this use dice create table employee table. So these are the attributes of this table. Let me just execute this. So table has been successfully created. Now refresh this. So employee table has been uh, created. Next I'm going to insert values in my employee table. But first, let me just select star from employee. Execute this query run. Look, right now, I don't have any data in my table. So I'm going to use insert into insert into employee, then values. The first value is uh, employee ID. 101 second value is first name let's say john cena is the second name salary let's say 10000 is the salary designation manager in the department id 201 so this is the first insert statement so let me just execute this statement run look one row number of rows inserted one so likewise i can insert more values in my table so let me just copy this Control c Control v let me insert two more rows in the employee table so 102 bob wells last name wells let's say salary uh, 9000 assistant manager belongs to department id 202 he belongs to department 201 same department as john cena uh, employee id 103 brett lee salary let's say 11,000 so now let me execute these two rows so just uh, highlight these rows now execute now look now let's execute this select star from employee 
So total I'm going to have three rows. Employee ID 101, John Cena, Bob Wills, Bradley. So select star from employee. This query will display all the rows. So in order to view only specific columns, you can specify column names here. Okay, let's say I want to only display first name and last name. First name, underscore name, comma, last name. Okay, so this will display only first and last name. Now execute this first name and last name. Let's say I want to see salary as well. So I will get first name, last name and the salary of each employee. Look, first name, last name and salary. So you can also use the where clause here. Where, where clause will filter the result from the rows. Okay. Now I want first name and last name where salary greater than 9000, where salary greater than 9000 so i will get only these two rows uh, this one and this one because in these two rows uh, salary is greater than uh, 9000 so let me just execute this so i will only get two rows look salary 10000 which is greater than 9000 uh, salary 11000 for employee brightly uh, because the condition is greater than 9000 so this is how you create table and this is how you insert values in a table. So hope you understood this concept. Thank you so much and have a great learning.